In this video, we'll discover about how to eliminate uncertainty. Distractions are part and parcel of life, so you are not alone if you're uncertain about what to do and how to go about life. We have stated some of the signs of lack of clarity. If you discover that you need to be more specific and deliberate about your life, leverage the hacks below. Set SMART goals. You might have come across the SMART acronym before. It represents the five attributes of a feasible target. They are as follows. S. Specific. M. Measurable. A. Attainable. R. Relevant. T. Time-bound. Setting SMART goals is one of the best ways to have clarity and eliminate uncertainty. It means that your targets will be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant to you, and will be achieved within a time frame. Specific implies that the objective is definite, while measurable means that you have specific benchmarks for evaluating your progress. Attainable implies that the goal is feasible, while relevant means that the target aligns with your personality and achieving it will give you a sense of purpose. Time-bound means that you have a specific period when you intend to achieve your target. If your goals have all these attributes, it shows that you have taken time out to think things through before setting sail. You'll be able to eliminate uncertainty and focus on the task at hand. Ask questions. It is a sign of pride, folly, or a serious case of low self-esteem when an individual doesn't know how to solve a problem and wouldn't ask the people that can help out. Things are way easier in the modern world when it comes to finding valuable information that can help you in any endeavor. A simple internet search can give you access to numerous resources that can make things easier for you. This approach can help you to find out about a business before you invest in it, among other benefits. Nonetheless, it's not every time that you can find satisfactory answers online. There might be situations in which you'll need to talk to a person involved in that field to help you. Indeed, there are online platforms where you can have audio and video conversations. Still, don't hesitate to talk to a person that can give you a vivid explanation about that endeavor if you prefer one-on-one -on -one physical conversation. Find mentors. The importance of a mentor cannot be overemphasized. A mentor has the experience and has gone through the path you're about to tread, so the person knows the potential pitfalls and the likely challenges you might face. You'll be able to trust the judgment of the person because he or she has been through the thick and thin in the field and has a better understanding of what works and what wouldn't. When you have a mentor, you'll not go through life experimenting with different approaches. In most cases, your mentor will be able to give you a breakdown of the pros and cons of the different methods you can use to solve a problem. It's more effective when your mentor is also your sponsor, especially in a career path. A sponsor is a notch higher than a mentor. A mentor will give you the tips you can use to get to the top while a sponsor will hold your hand and take you there. He or she will vouch for you in his or her sphere of influence so that the people that trust him or her will give you the opportunities to show what you can do. Be accountable. The fact that you have a mentor doesn't mean that you are automatically accountable to him or her. You need to be deliberate about your accountability. Many people have mentors and people that are willing to help them, but their commitment to the relationship isn't good enough. No one will be committed and accountable to you when you are not committed and accountable to them. If you have a meeting with your mentor, don't get there late. No one likes to be taken for granted. If you have reasons to be late or absent from a meeting, inform the person ahead. If your mentor notices that you don't have value for time, it might discourage the person. Even when you're paying the person, courtesy demands that you let the person know when you'll not be available. No one will take you seriously when you have a bad habit of not keeping to time and lack accountability. Keep learning. Things will get clearer, and uncertainty will start to go away as you get more information. That's why great people are often avid readers. When you have more insight into a subject, you'll know the best way to approach it. You'll know the pros and cons of your decisions, and you'll be able to weigh your options before choosing an option. So you should never underestimate the impact of learning in any endeavor. Time invested in research isn't wasted. Rather, it's an investment that will yield dividends in the long run. Keep track of your progress. One of the reasons you need to set SMART goals is so that you'll be able to keep track of your progress. You should be able to tell whether you are improving or not. If you cannot evaluate your progress, it's a sign that you have a vague goal. Where were you? Where are you now? You should be able to answer these questions without sounding confused. Before you start any endeavor, ask yourself whether you will be able to tell whether you are making progress or not. If your answer to that question isn't an emphatic yes, then you need to reconsider the objective. Being able to keep track of your progress is essential, especially when you have long-term targets. Many people lose focus along the line when they set long-term goals. Therefore, it's vital that you have milestones that depict progress to evaluate how well you are doing. 
damn the consequence. It's always good to have a clear plan as you pursue a target. However, in some cases, the reason you are uncertain is that you're scared. You should keep learning and seek better ways you can do something. Still, the truth is that you'll never know enough to do something. You should avoid making mistakes as much as possible because they can be costly sometimes. However, you shouldn't be too afraid to make mistakes. The lessons you learn as a result of your failure often stick more. You'll remember the pain and disappointments in the future, and it will guide your steps. You don't want to fall into the same ditch all over again. Therefore, you'll not want to use the same approach that didn't produce the kind of result you want. Your past errors make you wiser and better prepared for the future. So once you make a plan, think about the pros and cons and damn the consequence. What if you fail? You aren't the first and won't be the last. Stand up and start all over again. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.